Okay, so as I was saying, on this lecture today, we are going to understand um, why ESN is being set up and the victories and the challenges that they have faced and how internally the governors of the Southeast are fighting to help the terrorists to take over our land. So, ESN, after many years of concentration, after many years of cries, after many years of complaint, our leader Mazinam Bikanu set up ESN to defend our land against every form of terrorism. The full and terrorists have unleashed, they have unleashed their, um, their, their forces on our land prior to that time, and they've been in our forests committing crimes, raping women, killing people over and over, over and over again. And we kept on crying to international community. We kept on crying to um, the zoo, to everyone that is supposed to hear our cry, but nobody heard our cry. The indigenous people of Biafra, POB, actually wrote a letter to the governors of the Southeast and the governors of the South South saying that they should do something to defend our land from these ravening wolves, from these terrorists in the guise of headsmen that are, that are all over our communities, all over our forests, raping women and killing people as they choose and causing terror over our land. These letters were written, sent to all the governors, sent to all the traditional rulers, but yet nothing was done. The governors of the South South trying uh, to do something, they came up with an idea they called Braised. Oh, Braised, we are going to put up a security outfit in South South so that we are going to defend our land Blah, 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 boom. Grace died, died a natural death. The Southeast governors came up with an idea of um, having a security outfit. I've forgotten the name that they called it then. That was how it, it, it was only the media. Blah, 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 blah. These people were still on our land doing everything that they wanted to do, killing our people and these governors, what some of them could do was to say, okay, if you kill one person, um, you pay 500,000. If somebody from the community kill a cow, they will pay 500,000, meaning that the life of the citizen of Anambra, that was the, the, um, the governor of Anambra, that was what he said, equated the life of um, the indigenous of Anambra to that of a cow and saying that it is 500,000 naira. So these governors did lots of things. We waited for them. We waited for them to do, you know, when they come up and they begin to say ESN um, is not approved, is not this, is not that, it will sound as if IPOB or our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, just woke up one morning and say that, let there be ESN. No, we waited for them. They claimed that they are the ones that were voted in by the people and all of that. We waited for them. For many years, they did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And these people were encroaching. Encroaching. Spreading. They thought we couldn't do anything to defend ourselves. You must remember... The right POV is the people. And out of the people, Elohim selected men that would defend the people. And our leader, Mazin Amikano, gathered these men together and inaugurated them as ESN to defend our land all over the East. 
which is called Biafra, all over the east of the zoo. That was on the 12th of December 2020, last year. And when this was done, immediately, these same um, army of the zoo that don't see full and head smell when they come to cause mayhem and kill our people. When ESN was established and ESN started chasing full and um, terrorists on our land, the army came to Olu to battle with ESN and they ran away. They ran away, they reinforced. They ran away, they reinforced. You must remember that the Nigerian army have only committed genocide in Biafra land. They have never saved any Biafra. If things are happening in Biafra land, if people are killing people, the army doesn't come to save anybody. They leave us to our fate. But when we rise up to defend ourselves, the army of the zoo comes to kill. The zoo called Nigeria, their army is designed to kill Biafrans. Do not forget the Odi massacre in 1999. Don't also forget the Obibo massacre of just a um, few months before the establishment of this, of, of ESN. The commissioning of ESN. Now, ESN was commissioned in um, 12, 2020, 2020, 12 December 2020, ESN was commissioned. Just a few months before that time, these people came to Obibo to massacre people, kill people as they liked, and remained in Obibo. Till today, army is still in Obibo, intimidating people. They have not left there. Till today, as I speak, they are still in Obibo, Nibocha, intimidating people. Why? Because people chose to freely, people chose to freely agitate for their freedom and agitate against bad governance in the zoo. And the same thing that they did at Obibo, they wanted to come and do at Olu. But they never knew that at that time there, there was already ESN. And ESN stood strong, held them back. Till today, they have not left Olu. If not for ESN, Olu would have been like Obibo. The story of Olu would have been like Obibo, if not for ESN. So, ESN, because of the works of ESN, Olu couldn't become like Obibo. They couldn't come to um, Imo State and make it a killing spree and intimidate people and tell them you must never talk about Biafra, you must, you must never obey anything, IPOB, and all of that. They couldn't do that. But because there was no ESN, they did it at Obibu. They did it at Obibu. Till today, till tomorrow, ESN is still battling Nigerian forces at Olu. Why? They want to come and kill innocent people. And because they don't um, succeed in Olu, they have spread their wickedness in some parts of Imo states. Killing innocent people saying that they are chasing after ESN. The Eastern Security Network, ESN, which was um, established by our leader, Mazen Amikano, has worked tirelessly and has chased the Fulani um, terrorists all over the Afghan land. Fulani terrorists that used to um, 
camp in our forests, they are no longer there. They are nowhere to be found in our forests anymore. Now, because the Eastern Security Network has fought tirelessly to ensure that they save Biafra land from the doom, the evil governors that serve our enemies, that were put there by corruption, that were put there by rigging, decided to go to work. And when they went to work, they came up with their own security outfits. And one might be thinking, what is the security outfit that these people came up with? Is it to complement the work of ESN? No, they came to help the enemies to have access to our land. So they set up Ibubayagu. Ibubayagu was set up and used they use money to bribe and bribe and bribe. And all they have been doing is to bribe people to join the Ibubagu and use our own people, those that, those that love money, use them to fight against their own people, to fight against their own destinies. And some members of this Ebubayaku, some members of this Ebubayaku are actually, are not even from here, because when they were first established, we saw them, that there were people from other regions that joined Ebubayaku, because as a then, they would not be able to convince anybody from Biafra land to join Ebubayaku. Now they have used money, bribe people, those that love money have joined them and they have set our people against themselves, set the Wagu against ESN and the same governors claim that they love the people. If you love the people and you want to set up a Wagu, a Wagu is supposed to complement the works of ESN. Instead, the governors are using Ebibuagu to fight ESN. Ebibuagu that, that they could not set up many, many years ago when our people were dying, they chose to set up Ebibuagu in order to fight ESN. Though in many states they have failed, but in every state they seem to be fighting, to be fighting strong. Of course they are failing, but they are bribing more people. And it is very important that Biafrans understand that these people, these governors, these politicians, they are not for us, not today, not tomorrow, not ever. All they are interested in is to ensure that that money that comes to them as a location keep on coming, most especially these governors in Southeast that will set up a security outfit just to fight those that are fighting to defend their lands. All these people are from communities. And ESN has been there defending their communities, defending their brothers and sisters in the communities. But they don't like it. They were okay when the full terrorists were terrorizing the whole of our land, we sent them letters that did nothing. They, did, they, didn't, think, they didn't set up a Bibuagu there. They didn't think of the bright people to join the Bibuagu to fight those that are committing mayhem on our land, raping people, committing heinous crime in our communities. They didn't do anything to stop them until ESN came up and started fighting the evil on our land. But one thing I must assure them is that 
ESN wasn't set up to get tired. ESN is the people. ESN is a product of the people. And ESN was set up to defend the people. And because of that, they can, they can never get tired defending the people. It doesn't matter the manipulations. It doesn't matter how the, how, um, the politicians try to do whatever they do. There is absolutely nothing they can do to stop ESN. They cannot stop ESN. They cannot stop ESN today. They cannot stop ESN tomorrow. They can never ever stop ESN. ESN in battling the terrorists on our land has gone far into the lands of a boy of um, Benue states and destroyed the bandits, the strong bandits in Benue states that are committing mayhem in Benue states and also um, killing people in Igbo communities in Benue states. Of course, most parts of Benue state, um, the Doma, the Igede, these are Biafran tribes. But you know the way ESN work? ESN is a local security outfit. You must have a native of your place in ESN for ESN to operate in your locality. ESN of Anambra will not operate in Imo without the local ESN of Imo. That is how ESN operates. Even though it is all Imo speaking areas, but ESN will not operate where there are no local ESN members within that region. So what you see in Benue State, in the Doma area or other areas that are supposed to be Biafran territory is because those people are yet to rise and stand up and join ESN properly so that their lands as well can be defended. That's why when that um, bandits or when that terrorist group in Benue was defeated by ESN, when our leader announced it, he made it very, very clear that these groups, they were, they were destroying people, killing people, destroying houses, and raping people within the Igbo territories of Benue. And these places, these Igbo territories of Benue had, have members of ESN, amongst them. So you must understand. And that is how ESN functions. That is how ESN works. So when you're talking about um, the works of ESN, ESN doesn't invade. The Eastern Security Network does not invade. It is, it is a security outfit that is cut out from the people, from amongst the people whose eyes are open. Elohim separates some to protect the others, to protect all of the people. And that is how ESN was created. Elohim separates some to protect the rest. And that is ESN for you. ESN are people that are specially called to defend their land. And they have been doing it for one year and they will continue to do it until Biafra is fully restored. And ESN, with the alliance with ADF, the Ambazonia Defense Force, one of their major victories is that they have kicked um, ESN and ADF have joined forces allied forces to kick out 
Nigeria, the zoo, and Cameroonian forces at the borders of Biafra and Ambazonia. There is no longer, as we speak, there is no longer Nigerian army or Nigerian structures or Cameroonian army or Cameroonian security outfits, whatever, at the borders of Biafra and Ambazonia. Our border between we and Ambazonia is being occupied right now by ADF and ESN. That is the major victory. But I will say the Eastern Security Network in this one year of establishment has been able to achieve. You know, the ADF couldn't have done that alone because they could mine their territory and um, they wouldn't want to encroach into other territories. And if ESM wasn't there or ESM wasn't up and doing, they would have to be contending that, that boundary with the zoo army or the zoo custom or the zoo immigration, as the case may be. But with the help of the Eastern Security Network, the ADF, as well as the Eastern Security Network, ESN, has been able to kick these occupiers of our lands out of our borders. So right now, one of the borders that is being occupied by the indigenous security, which is um, ESN, is the border where we have with Ambazonia. And that, I must say, is a very, very huge victory in this movement. So, over time, we have seen the works of ESN. We have seen the effective works of ESN and how much they have been able to defend our land. And today, many of our um, women our children, our sisters, our brothers and communities can go to farm because of ESN. They are no longer afraid to go to their farms. They are no longer afraid to, to, to plant. You know, the, the, the desire of the enemy was to ensure that we no longer have food. So that while, while the, um, Buari administration, the late Buhari administration is working hard to ensure that people are poor, to ensure that people don't have jobs, to ensure that people are not able to take care of themselves. Even those that are farming in the communities, they want to ensure that they no longer be able to go to farms, so they occupy your forest, and when they see you in your farms, they kill you. So you are not afraid to go to farm. So at the end of the day, you'll be at their mercy. You will no longer have food to eat. It is only those that they bribe that will have food to eat. Because even the little work that you do, the business that you do, food will now be expensive. Because food will only be coming from the north. Are you seeing how this is going? So when food is only coming from the north, Food will be expensive. So if you will not have your money, you will not be able to buy food that you will be able to eat and be filled. So whatever, however money that you have, food will be expensive. And how many people are so rich to buy food when food is expensive? Just imagine if these people had succeeded in Biafra land, nobody's going to farm and everything. So all this little food that we are able to buy cheaply because our people go to farm and they have access to sell for us. Those ones that will be able to buy, we will no longer have them to buy. We will now be waiting for those that are coming from the north or those that are being shipped from Europe or Asia. So you can imagine how tough life would have been. Why is it that rice today is not as expensive as the um, government 
would have made it to be, it is because of those that are farming locally. Now, these people that are farming locally, the terrorists would have been there and they would have killed them if not for ESN. And we will not see this local rice to buy. So you must understand the importance of ESN. ESN have saved our lives a great deal. For me, I don't think um, celebrating ESN anniversary is supposed to be one day. Because if not for ESN, there are many people that wouldn't have been alive today, but they don't even know it. They don't even know that they wouldn't have been alive today, if not for ESN. Because of fear of ESN, many of the places, some places where ESN have not even been to, these people have started running away from those places before ESN gets there, because they've heard the stories of how their brothers suffered in other places. That is why we have to be, we have to be careful and we have to give honor to ESN. They deserve, they deserve too much. They deserve too much honor. The Eastern Security Network has saved our lives a great deal. The Eastern Security Network have saved the lives of Biafrans a great deal. And without the Eastern Security Network, by now it would have been a different story. Maybe I would have still been lamenting and lamenting. And of course, like I have told you, Many times, without the Eastern Security Network, and uh, now that these people have been able to get hold of our leader, this, our leader's story would have been a different story. Today, they are punishing him, maltreating him, and all that. Even though there is ESN, now imagine if there was no ESN, the story would have been different. The entire story would have been a different story. The only reason these people have left our leader alive is because they know that there is ESN. They know that ESN might be quiet today, but if ESN choose to take on Nigeria because they touched Mazen and the Kano, the whole world is going to suffer for it. You must understand that Biafra land is very, very important to this world, to the powers that be in this world, because of the resources that they get from Biafra land. And that is why they don't want to touch our leader. And that is why they are putting pressure. They want to see a way how they can manage to get out of this. You know, I was actually going through, I actually went through um, I went through the internet and I saw that Wikipedia how did somebody cut me off from from Facebook this is very bad okay so, I saw that on Facebook, Facebook record that, I mean, sorry, um, Wikipedia record that it was Interpol that arrested our leader. 
how Wikipedia got that news, we don't know. I don't know yet. But Wikipedia said that it was Interpol that arrested our leader Mazina Mikano or that kidnapped our leader Mazina Mikano in Kenya and renditioned him <laughs> Interpol. Well, you know, some of these people can, can, can tell lies. They can tell lies in order to make it look as if um, it was done by Britain or by the United Kingdom so that it will not look as if uh, it will look as if it is justified. The man has been in uh, in Britain, he has been in London. He has been in Britain for for a long time, and the only time he left Britain, went to Kenya, is the time that Interpol was able to see him. If that news is correct, then Britain will have to answer to it, or Interpol will have to answer to it as well. But I don't know how correct that information is, but that is the information that Wikipedia has. But the fact is that due process was not followed and the, the Kenyan government is involved as well as the zoo Nigerian government. But for today, we are talking about we are talking about ESN and the great works that they have done and how they have saved us and saved our land. So this is this is the works that ESN have been doing. But our people must understand that even though ESN has been doing a great work, even though ESN has been doing very, very well, there is still need for ESN to do much more. And whatever ESN can do will only be as a result of the support that we give to ESN. If ESN will do more than they have done, it will mean that we, the people, must give them all our support. Because the fuel of ESN is the people. The people's support is the fuel of ESN. Because ESN is doing a sacrificial work, not for themselves, but for the people. ESN is doing a sacrificial work for the people. So if ESN must do better than they have done, then it would mean that the all of the people of Biafra must give all their support, emotional support, financial support, media support, all of the support necessary to ensure that ESN do more than they have done. These brave men have sacrificed their lives. Many of them have lost it. And many of them are still standing, defending us, defending our lives, defending our land, defending our properties, defending our dignity and integrity. But if they must do more, we must give them our full support. And we must know that there are places where the where where ESN has been felt, where the works of ESN have been felt, much more work still needs to be done. Like for instance, 
Like I told you earlier, ESL in Olu is very strong. That is why the zoo have not been able to have their feet in Olu. But in other places in Imo states, these people have been going there and killing people. The zoo army goes there to kill. Now they now open the door to um what's it called? They now open the door to the to the terrorists to go there and kill, and they will say that it is unknown gunmen. Unknown gunmen using bike, the signature of Fulani. Who doesn't know that bike using bike to run into uh, communities and kill people, kill innocent people is the signature of Fulani? Who doesn't know that? But they said that it is unknown gunmen. Now, these people now ride on the back of the Nigerian army. The full and terrorists ride on the back of the Nigerian army. But when they will go and do that, the Nigerian army will not see them. They will not go and look for them. They will stay back in their barracks. But when ESN go to look for them and kick them out of our communities, these same people, these same people of the Nigerian army will go after the same ESN to kill people that are defending their land. It is very important that we tell these stories. All right, our media warriors must be up and doing we must tell the stories because we must understand that ESN, ESN do not speak for themselves. The commander of ESN, Miles Inam Dekano, is locked up in detention, in DSS detention. It is Miles Inam Dekano that used to make things very, very clear concerning the works of ESN and the ones that are not. But now, these people want to take advantage and blackmail ESN with every, every activity that they do and cost me and they want to use it to blackmail ESN. Our media warriors must be awake to tell the stories aright. And we must put the blame where it should be. The zoo is opening door, fighting hard to open doors. That is why we must work very, very hard to ensure that the ESN is strengthened. That is the work that we must do. That is the work that we must do.